वेलकम टू कैडी स्टेशन टुडे आई हैव सम रिक्वेस्ट टू डू दिस स्केचेस इट्स क्वाइट सिंपल बट इट्स अ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम सम जूनियर्स सो आई हैव टू डू लेट्स स्टार्ट टास्क वन वी विल डू टास्क वन एंड टास्क टू टूडे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोइंग टू डू टास्क वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू आई एम यूजिंग सॉलिड वर्क टू थाउजेंड एटीन इफ सम वन इज़ वॉचिंग फर्स्ट टाइम दैन इट्स सॉलिड वर्क टू थाउजेंड एटीन यू कैन यूज़ एनी वर्जन देर इज़ नो बिग डिफरेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो टू न्यू और यू कैन प्रेस कंट्रोल एन एंड यू हैव टू ड्रॉ पार्ट डबल क्लिक ऑन पार्ट और क्लिक ऑन ओके फर्स्ट यू कैन सी दिस टास्क वन आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ this sketch let me show you mm, let's take this color okay i'm going to sketch this one okay this face i'm going to sketch uh, that's my front so i'm going to select front plane sketch okay i'm going to uh you can see it's uh, there is no mention uh these units are in millimeters or inches so we are going to use millimeters okay first of all i am taking line from here make a horizontal line then a vertical then close it like this you have to just draw roughly you don't need to mention dimensions now okay escape to exit from the line command now click on this line and come here and select vertical okay next is select this one press control and select this one okay escape select this one i and now this one and you have to make it equal okay now next relation is this one press control and this one and make a relation equal now similarly go to smart dimension now it's time to make dimensions this one is total is 200 mm come here this one is 200 mm okay now next is you can see it's 150 that's mean from here this edge to this edge it's 150 mm so come here from this line is of 150 mm okay now next is this height you can see from here to here it's mentioned 100 mm so this one is 100 mm okay now next is um this side is 150 mm okay oh okay i mentioned a uh, wrong relation this one is 100 mm and this one is 150 that's mean it's lower than this side so escape and you can see this equal click on this and delete this this one is 150 mm and this one is of 100 mm okay this one is 100 this one is 150 now this side means uh, the width is 25 mm it's 25 mm okay and uh, we have mentioned it this one and this one is equal so if i mention this as 25 that's mean it should be of 25 mm come here um this one is 125 mm from this edge to the top 125 mm this one is 125 mm okay now next is this one is 75 mm this one is 75 mm okay uh, don't be panic if this dialog box uh, appear it shows uh, this dimension is already been taken 75 mm now next is this one is done this one is done this one done this one done it's 
also done this one this one the only dimension you mean is 100 mm we have uh, done from the front now we have to extrude it that's mean uh, this wall working we are doing in two dimension now we have to convert it in three dimension click it here now press ctrl 7 it came to an isometric view go to features and here is extrude boss base uh you can see here is written extrude a sketch or selected sketch contours in one or two direction to create a solid features we have make a um, two dimension drawing now we are going to convert into solid feature so click on this and now here is you can remain it blind or you can go to mid plane uh both there is no main difference and here we have to put 100 mm that's mentioned on your sketch 100 mm and okay now next is this one is done now simply come here perspective view or if you don't want to do this one more setting that i prefer go to options or uh, simply settings document properties and here image quality and make it to the red okay now you can give it some appearance from here uh, let's make it off like this okay control 7 and our sketch one is done you can see it by rotating uh, if you don't have any idea how to rotate you just have to uh, press your scroll uh, hold your scroll and just rotate your mouse it will do like this uh if you don't want just press space bar and this one is isometric view you can see he is written isometric this one this one uh you can use that's that is feasible to you okay sketch one is done uh we are moving to second sketch part and now in second sketch uh again i'm changing the color uh okay green now again i'm going to use front plane uh that's mean i am taking this side as my front okay so let's start go to front plane sketch now uh i'm going to select line uh okay remember it's easy to start from the origin that helps you a lot from here 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 i'm just making a rough sketch you can see i'm not okay now one thing this one is tapered that's mean i have to mention it horizontal okay now next is start we have to mention dimensions first of all this base is of 200 mm so smart dimension this one is 200 mm this uh, height is 60 mm uh, on the right hand side it's 60 mm so this one is 60 mm enter now next this one is okay let me this one is done this one is done now this one is 70 mm so this one is 70 mm okay it's done now this height is 40 mm this height is 40 mm and this one is done now this one is 40 mm let's check it this one is again 40 mm now uh, this height you can see is mentioned here it's 60 mm this one is 60 mm now next is this side this side you can see here it's written 90 mm this one is 90 mm by default it's done and this height is 40 mm let's check this one is 40 mm okay now all dimensions are done this one done also we just have two dimension uh let me check my color change my color uh 
this hundred you mean this hundred you mean i guess you can understand now this is the width of our time uh, our sketch that mean i have to convert it in 3d by extruding it up to 100 mm so let's do this simply uh, take it go to features extrude boss base and you have to 100 mm okay let me show you uh, this black outline shows your 3d objects come in front of you if just if you just click on this reverse direction it will move to the, uh, to the opposite direction and one more thing if you select this mid plane uh, the uh, your sketch will become the mid of your 3d object so blind and is going to be okay Control 7 for isometric view. Uh, this short case you have to remember. Control 7 for isometric. Control 8 to take to the normal. Control 7 to isometric. Okay. Now next is appearance. And now I'm going to put it. Okay. This one. You can make any okay these two sketches done uh these two are all for this tutorial hope you will understand the whole tutorial if still you have any query uh you struck on any point then you can uh, ask me in comment section or you can contact me uh, at the end just go and uh, subscribe the cadre station and don't forget to share to your friends okay thank you for today